trying desperately to start with why, but you can't. I hear you. This video is for you. If you are desperately no, trying to know what is your purpose, which direction you should go, I want to free you in this video. I absolutely have been in your shoes. Desperately trying to know which direction to take my life. There have been several times in my life when I have been lost and adrift. Because, of course, as many other women in the planet, I have been very pleasing, trying to accommodate to what I think they, my father, the patriarchy, they are wanting for me. Oof. And I, that has brought me to places I really didn't want to be in. And when I realized I don't want to be here, it was very clear, but uh, where do I want to go? I don't really like this job. I don't really like this relationship, but where do I want to go? We haven't been trained to answer that question. And if we really, we really want to start with the end in mind, like uh, the business gurus tell us, and we should start with why, we end up in a big depression because how can we know which direction we go if we haven't been trained to listen to our own wisdom? We cannot even answer that question of starting with why. So there must be a complete different approach. The complete different approach is to listen to your intuition. The complete different approach is to listen to your intuition through your body. Because you know what? Your body knows. Your body knows your sole purpose. Why you are here for in this planet. And in this very moment. Why what happened to you was a blessing. Because what happened to you is the perfect combination of circumstances to bring you to the next level of your life to the next level of service to humanity, to the next level of joy and pleasure and vitality for yourself, you can reach the next level when you connect to your intuition. When you say thank you very much, dear brain, for being so intelligent, and I'm ready to listen to the other team to the team feelings, to the team wisdom, to the team body. I want to give you two specific exercises for you to be able to do it. The first exercise is to be aware of your body, to become aware of your body constantly, all the time, and practice, practice every day, practice asking questions. Practice asking questions simply, mindfully. When you're working, take a deep breath in, your mindful moment, and start scanning your body from the top of your head, slowly, all the head, the throat, the shoulders, and you go down, 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 all the way to the feet. And what you are going to find is that you will discover <laughs> If you do it mindfully, that you have sensations that you have ignoring for a long time. One of the sensations that I was ignoring for a long time was that I had terrible pain in my left shoulder. It is so fascinating. Each part of your body gives you information. Information that your soul wants to convey to you. But it is speaks in sensations that your body gives you. I have created a resource that you can download for free where I tell you the most important regions of your body that can give you clues to what you are feeling. I give you what's some important ones here in the video, but you can download it. It's in the description below. The right hand side of your body talks about the future, talks about action, talks about uh, processes, businesses, 
the last side of the left side of your body talks about the past emotions your mother the left side of the body the right also i forgot your dad on the right side of your body you know shoulders what are shoulders something that you carry so my left pain on the shoulder was responsibilities that I was carrying, that they were emotional, they were related to my mother, and they were related to the past. What a perfect thing. I hadn't resolved, I hadn't made peace with my mother, with my past, and I was carrying it. This was so, so clear. I was not able to move on with my life in whatever way. I couldn't find my purpose in life if I didn't deal with with this pain in the shoulder. So this is what I invite you to do. Exercise number one is to just do a body scan. Often, often. And notice what is the thing that is off. In my case, it really felt like burning and like heavy. Many of my clients these days, they have pains in the tummy and they think, oh, something felt bad, but it just keeps this pain for years. Hmm. It's something about personal power. So, some feel, <clears throat> this is very common, the throat. They are wanting to create something and to express, but they are not daring nor are giving themselves permission to actually do it. And this is very common in this community because we're talking about the art of receiving. And receiving is basically clear reality. Uh, how we create reality and we will create more consistently is through personal self-expression. So the body scan is going to give you information that is going to thrill you. It's going to also scare you because it's going to be tremendously accurate. What are you going to do with that information? Hmm. The body is also going to tell you what to do. And it will tell you what to do exactly when it happens. You will notice that the body will react in some way when you are, when you are being informed of an opportunity to take action but recently, well, recently, in the past years, what has been really clear to me is that my way of knowing that I should be doing that is that my right arm gives me goosebumps. And goosebumps that I just cannot continue talking. And I'm just, just, they take over. They take over. And when I follow that advice and I take action towards that, really magic happens in my life. I meet other amazing people. I start serving to a higher level. I start having more vitality. So don't despair. Even if you know, oh, I have the pain in the shoulder and I kind of understand what it is, but I don't know how to take the next step. Don't despair. Just by being mindful in this body scan constantly, just train yourself. You are going to find the answers as you go. You are going to be guided towards what you should be doing to heal that or to be of service. It depends on where you are in your journey. But I told you that I was going to give you two exercises. The other exercise, because I am a very visual person, of course, is a way of painting your body. Excited? Well, what you do is that you buy a very big piece of paper, or you can do it on the floor if you want, if you dare, if you have a place to do that, and invite a friend uh, to help you paint yourself. So what are you going to do is that you are going to make a little meditation, the two of you, and ask for guidance from divine whatever you call divine, from God, from the universe, from, you name it, you know, what you really believe, what really comes out of your heart. Ask for guidance on your question, whatever question you have. How do I heal, fill in the blank? What is my next step? Is it time for me to stop filling the blank? Whatever is your question important questions in life. 
Um, with that feeling, without answering the question, you lie down on the floor. And you are going to find that you will lie down on the floor in different ways. Uh, you know, like a star, like a little baby, like running, like uh, whatever is the mood that you are in the moment. And your friend will pick, will create a, just an outline of your body, like a silhouette. And then you will take time. By the pain that you like, I love to do it with acrylic because you can, I love playing with acrylic as you can see, and just, just start putting paint on that uh, space in that representation of that is you. Of course, you can also use uh, pastels or uh, chalk of uh, whatever you want. The objective is that you stop thinking, you disconnect your mind, and you connect your body. And please wear the clothes that really can get messy. Can get the clothes that uh, you don't mind getting paint on. And paint with your hands, paint with your feet, paint with your elbows, paint with your knees. Just let yourself become one with that painting. Let yourself just be there. It is ideal that you do it together with a friend and both of you are doing this work together. It's really beautiful to do it together because you will be mirroring each other. And, you know, Jesus said it, when two gather on my name, I'll be there. As you will be together and you are calling for divine to be with you, Divine will be with you. You are going to express yourself and you are going to connect to that message that you need to hear, to that guidance that you need to hear. It, what I love about this method is that it has nothing to do with your mind. You just connect with the colors. Here goes purple, here goes yellow. Please don't think about, oh, the chakras should be here. Don't think about the art critics will say that I'm crazy. Don't think about how am I going to clean these later. Just express yourself. Even park the thought of this is nonsense. What am I, am I going to do with this? At some point, you're going to feel ready. When you feel ready, you get a sitting position and you start just looking, looking at what you created and sit down and become one with it. Start seeing the beauty of what you created. Maybe you can squint your eyes and think if there is something else that is missing, just put it there until you are finally ready to accept it. Sit with your painting of yourself and just stare at it and just be with it. You can journal at that moment, journal about the process, journal about the message you might have received, just be there. When your uh, partner, your friend finished as well, could be a very good time to share with each other the process. Mm, what you felt, what messages you got, what you see in the painting. What you're going to find is like uh, you see in this painting that I have, which I created in very similar way, you start seeing things. Like here, you maybe see a bird. Is a bird important? for me? Could this be a message? What does a white bird mean? Is this for me the Holy Spirit? <laughs> Is the face of your child somewhere in the painting? It is the a cloud. It is what is what you have to see and what it means to you and what is the message that is given to you. If ideally you were able to get a piece of paper, a big piece of paper, you can hang it in a place that you can see it often. 
and just see it often. It will talk to you. It will give you messages of what is that you are called to do. Because the intuition, divine, talks to you in colors, in shapes, in feelings, in emotions. And this painting is the emotional painting of you. Let it just be there and let it just sink into your soul. Because this is a beautiful painting of where you are. That maybe is calling you to rest. Maybe it's calling you to dare to speak up and take more action. Maybe it's calling you to serve to a deeper level, to sacrifice yourself. You know, I love this word. It's not even bad. You know, oh, God, it's the country. It's to make sacred your life. I can remember, my God, for me, it was such a pleasure when I had to sacrifice myself. The first two years of the life of my daughter, I was just there for her, just there for her. She was very ill at the beginning of her life. And I had the blessing that God gave me this responsibility to sacrifice myself, to be sacred my life. This little girl brought God to me. Is there a sacrifice that you need to make? Are you granted such a blessing? Hmm. So let that painting there become one with it and keep looking at it, keep finding messages and you are going to be guided. I hope this has helped you and that you are able to do it. Please leave your comments below if you do one of the two methods, the two of them. Of course, if you want to join us because here in Amsterdam I run a workshop like that precisely, It'll be a delight to see you and to, you know, that you are here from YouTube to reality and I can give you a hug and we can get all full of paint. But most important for me is that you start listening to your intuition and stop suffering this not knowing what your why is, what your next step is. Let that worry go. You are guided, you are protected, your intuition is talking to you. You just need to quiet down to connect with it. Wishing you all the best and I see you next week. God bless.